Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. Welcome to the first edition of Joey's Crease Talk. This is going to be my all things everything NHL and hockey talk uh, video edition of our podcast and vidcast. Now I'm going to start putting stuff back through Anchor so it goes on Radio Public, Spotify, um, on our True Philadelphia and stuff. All goes everywhere, as I was saying. So I'm Joe Board for Sports Fanatic News and True Philadelphia Sportscast. This is going to be Joey's Crease Talk. We, of course, have the Lightning and Stars tonight. We'll get back to that game in a bit. That's a very good series. We have the sleeper team of the NHL, um, who I compare to right now, how teams like Denver and other teams in the NBA have been doing, as I'll get to in my overall NBA video that will be coming out later today, right before tip-off of the game, about an hour before I'm going to schedule that for. But we'll get back to the Stanley Cup game. Overall, in the NHL news landscape, Flyers, of course, locked up. Nicholas Albe Kubel, a fantastic four-checker. Very good move by them to make. They also locked up Lyon for one year. Cheap uh, minimum contract. Good decision by them. He stepped up. He was solid. He made he, AV put him in against Colorado, as I said it before this year, and he stepped up big time for us. But overall, NHL news. Last game in the Tampa and Dallas series, Stammer had no business playing. Uh, he's ruled out for Game 4, apparently not the rest of the series. Is it likely he'll come back? I don't think so, but he really toughed it out. It goes to show the great leader he is, the great toughness that hockey players have, especially a guy like Stam Kosa. He scored, and he really, that once he scored, it seemed like he was pretty content with that and really knew he wasn't able to come back out he came out and tried to skate again but it seemed like that was all for his teammate and trying to give them that um huge enshrinement of energy and that's just going to last for a very long period of time and potentially carry through here um for them also jeff petrie a good puck moving also a great skating defenseman himself got a four-year 25 million dollar extension by the um Montreal Canadiens, I believe that was a good move for them as well. They got some young defensemen, and he's a guy that just knows how to get it done. He's a wise defenseman. He just knows how to move the puck. He's pretty good on the defensive end as well. I think that was a good move for them, in my opinion. Bobby Ryan, it seems like he's going to be well, he's being put on waivers for a buyout. I personally believe, because he's from Cherry Hill, going to the Devils or going to the Flyers is too big potential uh, suitors for him um, because the Rangers don't really need him and the Islanders they don't really need him either so I would say the Flyers want more guys bigger guys that have some skill in their bottom six rather than just bigger guys like Ross Johnson so as is an example of just a bigger guy that doesn't have a lot of skill otherwise and then you also have Line A out there and trade rumors, of course. It's going to take a lot to get him. I don't think our locale team will get him. I do, unfortunately, think there's a team in the decent local area in the Rangers that do have a chance. And will Pittsburgh try to go for him? Who knows with what they, they always do. Excuse me. Also, Paul McLean got hired as a Maple Leafs assistant coach. A good coaching career for him. Um... Nice to see him back into the league. Um, he won a uh, a um, Stanley Cup and a Jack Adams trophy along the way in his coaching career. So he actually has very good experience, and he will be a good addition to the Maple Leaf staff. And, of course, Patrick Hornquist uh, got traded to the Panthers, two-time Cup champion that the Panthers now have. They need experience down there, guys that just know the winning ways to get them over the home. That was a good move. They moved him from Mike Matheson and Colton Skeever to, and um, the Penguins add Matheson, who has a contract for a long time, so that's a risky move by them. The Panthers locked him up, and then he just kind of underperformed his contract, but it's still a solid defenseman, so we'll see if Pittsburgh can get him going there. And then... The um, Lightning, of course, as we head back to our Stanley Cup talk. Um, well, actually, before we get back to our Stanley Cup talk, I, I forgot to say the Coyotes general manager says the team is going to try to be very creative to try to retain Hall, so take that as you wish. And Flurry wants to stay uh, with Vegas, so we'll see where that goes since Leonard did very good there. 
But back to the Stanley Cup, it seems like as we finish out the video with the cup talk of the day, um, it seems like they figured out who Dobin and mainly they figured out Dallas were going from side to side and not just using the point where Dallas clogs the middle of the ice. Me and Steve talk about this on his uh, Pearls of Wisdom um, hockey um, and also now all things sports page on YouTube uh, where going side to side on Dallas works a lot better because their system just makes them clog the middle of the ice. So going to side to side with them works very, very well. And it seems like Tampa's figured that out and figured out that that's also worked pretty well on Hudobin. The problem is Bishop has been ruled unfit to play along with Fasca and Como's going to be a game time decision. So you got to make a decision here because if you're going to try to change the energy, it's going to have to be in a Thatcher Demko S move for a kid that has way less energy, not way less energy, excuse me, way less experience than Thatcher Demko in Jake Adi Ottinger. Uh, he's a very good young goalie. I believe he's going to be amazing. I wrote an article about him on Pub Sports Radio. Check it out. Um, and uh, he's a guy that I think could do very well and change the energy up. Do I think they will go to him? Is very ballsy. Probably not. But do I think it could be a good idea? Yes, because it would change the energy up. They really don't have anything to lose at this point. It's not because Hudobin is doing anything wrong. It's just because they figured out their defense and changing the energy up, having a guy in Ottinger that moves the puck around too a little bit like Bishop. Their defense seems to be holding and gripping their sticks a little bit too much right now because they haven't been as effective as they've been used to in this playoffs, being able to be good on the forecheck, good at clog in the middle because that ain't working against Tampa. So their confidence seems to be a little weaning. So I think having a change of netminder might help there. Unfortunately, they can't have the veteran bishop because he's unfit to play. But going to Ottinger, the youngster, I think he's going to be ready to take over the net in Dallas sooner rather than later. Anywho, so it wouldn't be the worst decision. It's not the best, I guess, have to throw a kid in, but we threw him into a third period. He made a great save on, um, I can't remember who, who it was on, but he made a great save on the PK and... Then he also was 5 for 5 and saves. So, uh, it was just, he's a kid that just knows how to play it. Um, he struggled a little bit during some time in the minors, but never showed that frustration. He just seemed to be always unfazed, and I think that's going to continue. So, I wouldn't put it past him to be able to do great, even in the cup finals, if he gets thrown in there. So, I would say, if you're going to throw money, this is Free Pick Friday, so I can talk anything, but also check us out on Patreon in the last video I put up for Free Pick Friday. You can subscribe as a $3, a $7 tier, or a $25 tier, and so on and so forth on our Patreon. Check that out, please, everybody. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know uh, what you want to enjoy talking about, about all things NHL news. I'm going to start doing a show of the week that's on all things NHL, all things NBA, NFL, and MLB. This is Joey's Crease Talk, though, and tonight I believe the Lightning have kind of figured out the stars, but if Jake Ottinger plays, I honestly think because of the change of energy, they're going to play very tight defense. I think that'll get the defenders really moving and moving quick with their skates again and gripping their sticks uh, not so tightly and playing better on the forecheck and all that good stuff. I do think Dallas has a chance of an upset and to even up the series, but... If they put Hudobin in, it's not because of Hudobin. It's just because it seems like they figured him out a bit. And going back and forth, uh, it doesn't change the energy at all, really, for Dallas. I think they just need to be ballsy to change the energy and put Adi in there. But we'll see what happens. I know it's a very ballsy move, but I think that's something they should do. And if they do, I think they have a better chance of winning. And again, I love Hudobin and think he's going to do great things, whether he stays there or goes elsewhere. It's just when somebody figures you out, you do got to change it up a little bit. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the first edition of Joey's Crease Talk. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Going to definitely change the picture pretty soon for the channel, so something more current. But peace out, everybody. Have a great day. Peace.